Let's move on to the topic one that's about compensation plan. So where, what is this compensation is all about? A compensation can be both wages as well as a salary. Okay, so when we come to, you know, probably the wages, what is exactly this wages is all about? Wages is actually, you know, nothing but you try to compensate the employee based on hourly basis or either, you know, we can call it as hourly pay rate and uh, normally, you know, based on the amount of output produced, you know, we try to fix the kind of, you know, uh, rate for hours and that's way actually, you know, day wise or an hour wise if you try to you know probably calculate that's called it as a wages and the second part is about you know some kind of a compensation can be calculated periodical basis like like you know probably the weekly basis or on a monthly basis we try to you know fix certain kind of an amount so whereas in the previous stage the wages it is purely fixed based on the kind of an you know outcome whereas salary normally been fixed based on the kind of an you know skill set availability in that particular employee based on the person you know the salary will be fixed so these are the ways actually you know compensation can be generally uh, looked into it now let's try to look at what are the kind of factors which influences the comp compensation most actually organizations you know uh, base for a compensation decision is uh, based on five major factors. the first factor is uh, you know general industry term i hope you must have seen a lot of company used to come out of the advertisement uh, you know the, during the recruitment time the salary will be best in the industry so like you know they will try to compare with their competing organization and uh, the competing kind of a sales people or competing kind of you know same uh, what you call it as the the, the skill set of people what are the kind of an you know salary they have been getting it and what is the industry standard so based on that, you know, they will try to fix the salary. That is, you know, very, very common kind of an approach. The second kind of an approach is, uh, you know, government is trying to you know, intervene and they try to set certain kind of, you know, uh, minimum kind of a wages or minimum kind of a salary or minimum kind of, you know, benefits and other things and all. So based on the company, you know, government legislations, you know, the, uh, including, you know, it could be a state or a central government or, you know, local kind of, you know, minimum kind of a wages set by the municipality or your labor officer, which is located at the labor, you know, local chapter. So based on this, actually, you know, the entire wages will be or salary will be fixed. And other thing is actually, you know, the salary will be fixed based on the cost of living in that particular city and what is the kind of a lifestyle style has been followed that uh, I hope all of you might be pretty familiar with one of the pay, comp pay component called it a CCA that is city compensation allowances so that is purely you know city compensation allowances is just one part of the salary but uh, ultimately you know to fix the minimum kind of a salary they will consider the overall city actually you know the compensation what you call the cost of living and the inflation there and uh, the next one is actually you know the uh, the firm ability the organization resources availability what is a firm or organization ability to pay whether are they you know having an enough kind of a fund to you know compensate better so that can be one of the factor and the f last one you know fifth kind of a factor could be overall employee or a worker productivity part of it how far they contribute to the overall organization things so that has to be you know looked into it now let's try to look at what are the kind of a components of uh, pay or a salary breakup so when we look at the components of a pay uh, generally your salary will be uh, divided into various kind of a thing uh, consolidated salary will be given only for an employee who is actually you know temporary who is not in, you know permanent whereas for an permanent kind of an employee the salary will be broke up into different kind of a pay component the salary breakup will normally go up like this in india where always they'll start with a basic pay basic pay is your original you know the cut off pay what you call your the you know the kind of a uh, basic kind of you know pay structure so bp they call it as basic pay and based on the basic pay only all other base you know pay components will be fixed and uh, basic pay followed by you know the common kind of a method adopted in indian industry is your da that is called as dearness allowances dearness allowances is basically you know to run your day to day life and to, you know match your lifestyle and to take care of your uh, daily course this dearness allowances have been provided 
normally the dearness allowances will be 50 percentage or 100 percentage some case you know 150 percentage or 200 percentage depends on the kind of a company decision making they've tried to fix the da based on the basic pay and other than that you know to pay your house rent there will be a separate allowances will be given normally the house rent allowances will be 12 percentage or 10 percent of the basic pay some companies will fix an house rent allowances both put together da and the basic pay together they will you know try to fix 10 or 12 percentage and that's the way they'll work out and other than that you know uh, every city has got its own kind of an you know uh, what you call it as uh, own expenditure so that's called it as actually you know basically how that you know lifestyle and uh, standard of living say for example in bangalore your standard of living is a little higher so in order to compensate the bangalore uh, employee you may have to pay cca a little higher probably thousand rupees or thousand five hundred rupees or two thousand rupees that's the way actually you know they try to fix it or probably it could be a percentage of your basic pay and that's the way they'll work out uh, you know if you try to compare the cca of uh, Bangalore city or any metro cities with the tier 2 or tier 3 cities naturally tier 2 tier 3 cities people will get the lesser HRA percentage as well as CCA percentage so that's the way actually it will be very very variable even though we are working in the same company if you get transferred to the, those kind of cities you will be getting li little lesser kind of you know pay and the next one is a transport allowances normally transport allowances minimum has been fixed by a government now, all these years actually it was about 800 rupees i think recently in the budget uh, they've raised the transport allowance to little higher and uh, these are the ways actually you know we try to uh, these are all completely labor oriented and government legislation oriented and other than that you know they come out of the different kind of a reimbursement and uh, one could be your medical reimbursement for the employee and the employee dependent and their family and dependent parents and the other could be let's say educational allowances for the employee and their wards and uh, that's the way actually you know you can pay your employee you know employees uh, wards school fees can be get it reimbursed from the company side so these are the kind of benefits they provide and other than this benefits uh, you know reimbursement and all reimbursement will not be part of your salary but that will be paid separately and other than that you know your incentives and a variable pay it's purely based on the employee performance and based on the employee performance normally per piece rate system they call it as in the production area if an employee happened to be in the production side then uh, you know the incentive will be based on the kind of you know number of units they produce if the employee is in a sales side based on the number of sales they've done if the employee is an R&D, the, the kind of a quality of output they come out with considering the time and then cost quality. So these are the ways actually they try to fix certain kind of a variable pay. And other than that, other sites like uh, vehicle, they will be giving an assistance, phone rentals, home furnishing cost, a driver, you actually, you know, you can actually appoint a driver for that, you know, the driver salary will be paid from the uh, organization side. A domestic maid can be, you know, paid from the organization side and a guest house utilization of a guest house a newspaper and you know various other magazine subscriptions all these things you know completely your salary you know probably from the organization side they will provide a complete kind of a thing and other than that some of the cases actually public sector units and big kind of a companies and all they will allocate and you know company quarters or what you call guest house and completely you know rent will be very very minimum very nominal kind of a rent will be collected so these are the ways actually you know in the form of a pay uh, they try to you know come out of the pay structure and the salary kind of a breakup so the old and traditional kind of a method of you know payment uh, was actually you know uh, they come out of the payment band when we talk about payment band i hope you must have seen uh, let's say like you know the payment band start with 9000 rupees and uh, you know in between 400 is your increment so 9000 hyphen 400 hyphen you know probably 11000 will be written so the exact meaning of this kind of an you know salary structure is your initial basic pay will start with the 9000 and year on year 400 rupees will be the increment and once the employee reaches the basic pay of 11000 then automatically you know your uh, increment value will increase to you know let's say like 600 and uh, you know so they will write it like this 9000 hyphen 400 hyphen 11000 hyphen 600 and hyphen 14,000 so that's a, that's the exact meaning is 9,000 your initial salary starts with 400 rupees is the increment year on year 
and until it reaches the 11,000 rupees and un after you reach the 11,000 rupees your increment level will be 600 rupees until it reaches 14,000 this is the kind of an increment so this is for, this will be for one particular period and uh, afterwards you know the there will be a revised kind of an you know thing will be worked out so these are the ways actually you know salary breakup has been worked out and uh, that's the way actually you know what happens is like uh, uh, the common kind of a salary will be your only basic pay da house rent allowances and city compensation allowances and transport allowances and reimbursement and other perquisites will be you know other than your salary and uh, on top of it you know there will be certain benefits also will be provided like your provident fund and uh, your you know medical support in case an employee you know gross salary is less than 15000 as per the recent amendment uh, they are, they are supposed to go ahead with the you know esi as well as you know your uh, uh, provident fund kind of you know benefits and other things and all so these are the ways actually you know employee uh, hr department has to consider both hr policy of the organization as well as the labor you know laws time to time announced by the government has to be taken into consideration and accordingly salary and wages has to be fixed.